Okay, so I wanted to make a video showing some quick ways that um, I communicate with students, especially during the first week, because you want to make sure that you touch base with them if they have not been active yet. We're on day three of the course. So you can contact students pretty easily in the Canvas gradebook. So I just want to show you how I kind of set up my gradebook to do that. So the first thing I'm on the grades page and the first thing I always do is put move my um, total percentage column to the front. So it defaults to the very end. So if you scroll all the way to the end and click on the three dots and say move to front, then they will be beside the names of the students by the student names. Okay, so now I can see um, who has not done anything pretty easily. Now, you know, I need to grade this, so that's why they don't have anything here, but like this student here, it looks like they have not done anything so far. Now, also I can change the view of the assignments to where they are um, arranged by a number of things. I like to do module, so I'm gonna do module first to last. So what that means is that the assignments are going to appear in the gradebook based on the order of the modules. So these are my three orientation module assignments. So I can see very easily who has not done anything. So that tells me I need to send them a message. So there's a few ways you can do it. Um, like for the students who have done nothing, like this student has done nothing here, I would click on the student's name and then if you click it'll tell you when they last logged in and then you can click on this envelope here and you can actually type out a message that goes directly to the student through the canvas inbox when they reply to you it'll go in your canvas inbox and to your email and you can type whatever you want and then a record of this will be in the canvas inbox as well in the sent folder so that's one way you can contact them um, now, you can also message students within an assignment. So for example, I want to message all the students who have not submitted the discussion post yet. So I click on the three dots for that assignment and choose message students who. And so the defaults to haven't submitted yet, but you can choose a number of options, but it pulls up every student who has not submitted. You can change the subject title if you want of the message and you can send a message. So you can message a student directly by clicking on their name and you can message students by assignment by clicking on the three dots here. Um, starting with that will be a great way to touch base with your students who have not um, started doing anything in the course because it's very important that they do something this week. Um, if they do not do an assignment this week, then you'll need to report them next week as a no-show student. Um, so I'll be making little videos like this as I think of things that may be helpful because I know it's the first time that many of you are teaching online or teaching so many online courses and if I can think of ways for you to engage with your students um, in an easier way I will do that. So if you guys have any questions just let me know I'm here to help.